Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what I'm going to do, now that it has stopped raining, is I'm going to connect my 25 watt solar panel from Harbor Freight to my other panels that are over here. And I'm going to connect all of them using the universal hub that is also from Harbor Freight. Okay, give you a little look at the setup. This right here is into the house. Here is the cable that connects to the solar panels. Right there. Standard one from Harbor Freight. Over here is my 45 watt solar panel kit. It also has these standard connectors right here, all which will be going into the hub, by the way. These panels can be connected independently. There are three panels. Each are 15 watts, but since it's a kit, I went ahead and hooked them all together. But if you'll see, there's a connector that connects these three. So each of them can be set up someplace different independently if you want to. But for this setup, I'm just going to do the three to hook together. Set that over here as well. And over here is my new 25 watt solar panel. Like I said, it and the other solar panels are from Harbor Freight. These panels are easy to use, easy to set up, and they work really, really well. Okay, so we're going to move it a little closer. Real simple to do. As you can see, this has a very nice stand to it. It's very light. Works very well. Move it over here. Because I want all these together when I connect it to the hub. Then the cord, you see the cable here, is long enough that I can move it to wherever I want to. Depending on how the sun moves. And right here is the universal hub from Harbor Freight. Important note at first, where it says output. Output goes to the charge controller. This will not work properly if you don't do that. So, output is right here. So we're going to take the cable here that goes into the screen that goes into the house. Because this gets connected, this cable, to the charge controller. So I'm going to connect this cable to right here on the universal hub that says output. And since they're made for each other, they slide right in. See that? Now, what could be confusing to some people is these connectors all look the same, including that one. So make sure you use the output. I hate to stress that so much. I don't mean anyone out there is dumb. But if you don't do this right, it simply will not function properly. You can choose any of these connectors since they're all the same, that you want to use for your panels, just remember, do not go over 400 watts. Okay, because this won't do more than that. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect the next solar panels. And that only takes a second because they're all the same and they hook up the same. So there we are. We have the 45 watt solar panels connected right there. And then we have the new 25 watt that I'm connecting to my system, which I just tossed the cord over there so you can see it easier. Right there goes to the 25 watt solar panel. So they are now, with the universal hub, connected together. This would be the same as connecting these in parallel. They will all stay 12 volt. That's the 45 watt one. This is the new one we just bought. And it can easily, as you can see, be lifted up, moved around on its stand. Anywhere you want to put it, no problem at all. So, th so that is connecting the 25 watt solar panel to my 45 watt Harbor Freight kit to the Universal Hub. Have any questions? Put it down in the descriptions. Share this if you think it will help anyone. Uh, if you like this, please subscribe, like, share, hit the little bell button, 
shoestring out.